Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Lexi and today we're going to do a Diamond Art Club haul. This is everything that I got during the early Black Friday sale and uh, new releases that they had. So I just wanted to go through them, show you what I got, and unbox them and take a quick look. So the first thing I got was this really cute Gnome and Friends picture. Um, this one I was actually initially unsure of um, just because it's it's not technically my style <laughs> um but the more i looked at it the more i fell in love with it and it really reminds me of i don't know if you've ever seen that show david the gnome it was a cartoon when i was a kid and it really reminds me of that and i just thought it would be so cute for fall maybe for next year, and so I decided that I had to get it. It is a round diamond. The size is 17 inches by 26 inches, and it just looks so cute. It's by Jeff Allen, and we'll open that up in just a second. The next one I got is The Wicked Witch by Enos Guerrero. This is more my style. <laughs> I really like the dark fantasy style, um, like the um, art by uh, Christopher Lavelle and Enos Guerrero. Um, I actually was really sad at first because this one was showing um, as sold out when I first logged into the website or the app. I can't remember which I ordered it on, I think the app. Um, it was showing as like I couldn't order it because it was it was saying like low stock and then it was saying that it was out of stock and I just kept trying and then finally, finally it let me order it. I don't know if maybe because like people had it in their carts and then didn't or I don't know. Um, so it finally let me order it. It was one that I really wanted to get. It is uh, round diamonds. 20 inches by 28 inches or 51 centimeters by 71 centimeters. So we will open that in just a second. I'm very excited about this. I might save this for Halloween next year. Um, but I just wanted to make sure that I grabbed it while it was on sale. But also it was, um, I don't, I think it was a limited edition or a new release. I wanted to grab it <laughs> anyway to make sure that I got it. Okay. Next one. Oh, this is a heavy one. This one, I'm holding it sideways just because it is kind of a landscape orientation that picture. I don't think you can see it too well on the camera here. Okay. It is Countryside Cottage and it is by Dominic Davison. It is square diamonds and it is 38.6 inches by 27.6 inches or 98 centimeters by 70 centimeters. <clears throat> it is absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> and um, this would be the first landscape painting that I've bought. So my plan for this is this is going to go in my guest room because I have a bread and bread, not bread, bed and breakfast theme going on in my guest room. And it's kind of um, inspired by Dwight Schrute from The Office. Like I have little Dwight Schrute things in there. And so I just thought this kind of fit the theme and would be pretty enough and cute enough to hang in there. And so that is why I bought this one. <laughs> so, and then the last one, let's put that there. This last one that I got is Braveheart, and it's licensed by Milan Art LLC, and it's square diamonds, 20 inches by 27 inches, or 50.8 centimeters by 69 centimeters. I got this actually for my husband 
<clears throat> um, I am going to complete it and frame it and hang it up. And I got it with my husband in mind. He just went on a big elk hunting trip in October. And so I thought that he would like this. And so I got it just with him in mind. I really like the artwork of it. Um, it's kind of fantasy. Um, it's got like this glowy kind of ethereal look to it, but it's also an elk. It's um, more of a nature type design. And so I thought we would both enjoy it. And so that's why I got that one. So let's go ahead and open these up and we will take a look at the canvases and everything that comes inside the boxes here. Okay, so I have my gnome picture up first, unboxed, unbagged, unrolled here, and it's so much cuter um, up close and in person than like versus the picture that was on the box. It's so cute. I'm so excited that I got this one. It, it's cuter than I thought it was going to be. Um, so I know that the actual official title of it is called Gnome and Friends, but I think I'm going to call it my David the Gnome <laughs> picture because it really reminds me of that cartoon and it brings back memories of watching that cartoon. <laughs> it's so cute. I absolutely love his hat. I think that is the cutest part of this whole picture. <laughs> and um, I love the bird as well. The bird looks really nice the way that it's rendered and I think it's going to be really pretty. Um, the mushrooms are also one of my favorite things in this picture as well. It's just so cute. I can tell as well that I'm going to enjoy diamond painting this one because I don't know if you can tell but there's all these lines like in the chair and in the background and I really enjoy when there's lines like that so I think it's gonna be really nice look at his cute little boots <laughs> look at that cute little lady bug <laughs> and the sunflowers are gorgeous I'm really I'm now that I have unboxed this I'm a lot more excited about it <laughs> Not that I wasn't excited about it before, but I think it's just when you open it and look at it, you get a better idea of how it's going to work up and what it's really going to look like. So it's exciting. So here's our little key code chart thingy. And we've got a little sticker here. So let's take a look at the diamonds really quick. I'm not going to run through every color since we have three other um, paintings to unbox, but let's just take a look very quickly at the diamonds and we'll see what kind of ABs we have in here. I think there's three, four ABs. So, let's take a look here. Beautiful, beautiful colors. It's a very colorful picture. Very pretty. I love all of these greens. It's going to be so nice. Oh, there's my end here. <laughs> oh, that pink is really pretty. So there's an AB there. It's like a really pretty butter yellow color. That's really, really nice. Okay, let's find the end of this one here. <laughs> There's another AB. It's this, oh, it's this upside down pink color. That's another AB there. It's a brighter yellow color. I think that's going to be really pretty because that looks like that is in the sunflowers. 
and then a white baby, and then some really pretty fall colors in there. So, I think that's going to be really pretty. So yeah, I think it's going to be gorgeous. Those ABs are in the sunflower throughout the petals. And the pink ABs are going to be in his hat. That's going to be so cute. <laughs> That's going to be so cute. And then it looks like the white ABs are going to be in his beard and maybe a little bit in the bird as well. So, alrighty, let me put this away and we will move on to the next one. Oh, you know what? Actually, <clears throat> before I do that, let's look at our toolkit really quickly because I like to see what... Um, color pen and what washi tape and what uh, little goodies we got in here. So there's our tray. We got a green pen and squishy. Our bags. Our washi tape is really cute. It's like a red and white polka dot that actually matches this really well. That's very cute. There's our multi-placers. I love these multi-placers. They work so well. And then we got a cute little teddy bear cover minder. Very cute. Alrighty, well now let's move on to the next one. Okay, next up is our Wicked Witch picture. And it's absolutely gorgeous as well. I'm so excited. Um, it's amazing. <laughs> it's very large. and I, I know you can't really see the whole thing because it does hang over the edge of my table here but it's absolutely gorgeous and of course just like all of the canvases that I get from Diamond Art Club it's it's so nice the canvas is very very soft it's very pliable it flattens I didn't even roll this one out the other one I rolled back because it was very um curled this one it just it fell almost flat like almost immediately um but it's absolutely gorgeous the colors in this are obviously very dark and muted and so let's see how many colors are there there's 27 total colors so not a lot because that's the design of it <laughs> um but it's absolutely beautiful let's take a look really quickly at uh, the drills. I think there's, oh no, there might be four ABs in this one. No, I'm wrong. I think it's actually only one. I think it's only one AB. So we won't go through all of these, but let's just find our AB here. What color is it? I think it's this gray. There's the AB. <laughs> Hold, please. Why do I not see it? This is this one? Are there no ABs? Maybe there's no ABs in this one. Maybe there's no ABs. Maybe not. Maybe because of the style of picture. Maybe that's it. <laughs> so, very dark muted colors. Um, this is an absolutely gorgeous picture. Uh, her face is absolutely gorgeous the way that it's rendered. I can tell it's going to be beautiful. I love the way like the highlights and the contouring of her face is done. Absolutely gorgeous. I love like even this green back in here. Looks like it's gonna be really pretty. That color right there. So there's that. Let's open our toolkit. Okay. Oh, 
cute. Okay, so we've got like this magenta color pen and squishy. That's so cute. I haven't got that color before. This is really cute. This is like a holly um, mistletoe washi tape that's really cute for the holidays. And a cute little bear cover minder. Very cute. And we got our bags and multi placer wax and tray. Very cute. So I'm very excited about this one. Um, like I said before, I might save this for Halloween time next year. Just kind of thinking ahead. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous though. I love the artwork of um, of this. This artist is amazing. Um, so I'm very excited to work on this. It looks absolutely beautiful. So let's move on to our next one. Alrighty, here's our big mamma jamma. Uh, this is the Countryside Cottage. Uh, gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. I am so excited. I keep saying that. I'm so excited about all of these. I love these. <laughs> Otherwise, I wouldn't have bought them. <laughs> um, so let's go through this. This is a huge canvas. It actually has six ABs. <laughs> I stopped and I looked before I hit record on this one. So let's take a look at these ABs very quickly and then we'll go through the canvas. Okay, so look at this beautiful green color. That one's an AB. Let's look very quickly at the others. Gorgeous sunny yellow. And that beautiful red right next to it. Absolutely gorgeous. And there's a brown here. And this pink one is also an AB. Gorgeous. Gorgeous colors. Okay, I'll find the other pack here. There's, there's a lot. There's a lot of, there's a lot of drills. Look at all of these. <laughs> That's going to be so pretty. These white ABs. Uh, that's going to be gorgeous. Let's get the other pack here. There's one more. Green. Oh no, that's it. That's all of them. So let's get the other pack. Look at this. <laughs> There's just a ton, a ton of colors. Look at all those greens. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And I'm very excited. Even though it's just a little bit, I'm excited about the purples in this, in this tree. I think that's gonna be so gorgeous. So, okay, let me move these out of the way. back in the box somehow <laughs> okay let's take a look at this canvas I'm I apologize it's not all in frame um, it's just so big <laughs> so here is the cottage um, absolutely gorgeous wouldn't you love to stay here it looks so cozy so beautiful so peaceful just surrounded by all of these wildflowers um, so on this side, there's another one of those trees and let me pick this up a little bit. Ooh. Down here towards the bottom, there's a ton more flowers and a beautiful fence. And down here, look at the little duck pond and roses. And there's a swan right here. And then let me bring it up here. There's some birds in the sky. Just gorgeous. <laughs> that tree I really love. It's just so beautiful. So it is a big canvas. Um, I think I'm going to do this one in the spring. And then like I said, it's going to go in my 
guest bedroom. I think it will fit the theme in there. So I do plan to complete it and frame it and hang it in there. So hopefully I will have a uh, reveal once that is done and I will show what it looks like hanging up and everything. So that's that one. Um, absolutely gorgeous. I can't wait. All of these, it's so colorful and I, and I especially love the green and the purple. I think it's going to be amazing. So all of the ABs are, so the white ABs are dotted throughout the trees, the fence, and into the sky up here. And then no doubt the, the colorful ABs will be dotted in the flowers and into the trees here. So very cute. So let me wrap this one back up, put it back in the box, and we will take a look at the last one. All right, here's the last one. This is Braveheart, and it's absolutely gorgeous, of course. <laughs> um, even more gorgeous than I thought it was going to be. I think, honestly, they look so pretty on the website, and the artwork is beautiful, but when you get the canvas, and you can't quite, even though it shows you how it's going to be rendered on the website for Diamond Art Club, I think you really don't, fully understand how it's going to look until you're looking at it in person and you can see how it's rendered and you can it's easier for me at least to visualize how the diamonds are going to look once I see the canvas up close and personal so um I just realized I forgot to open the toolkit for the last one so let's do both of these really quick I don't know if you guys are interested in this, but I just like to see what type of washi tape and cover reminder I get because that's part of the fun of these. Uh, let me just struggle with this real quick. So here's our toolkit from the previous one. We've got our tray and tweezers, baggies, wax, a squishy and a pen. It's a pretty sky blue color. And, oh my gosh, <laughs> look how cute that is. It's a little ducky popsicle. That's so cute. That's so cute. Okay, there's our multi-placers and some washi tape, which this looks like, is this Christmas trees? One second here. Let's see. I think this is Christmas trees. Sometimes it's hard for me to tell until I unravel it a little bit. <laughs> oh, I'm making a mess with this, you guys. Don't mind me, professional YouTuber. Oh, no, they're arrows. Okay, see, I couldn't tell. So this is actually really pretty, and I feel like it kind of coordinates with this one a little bit. Cute, cute. So... I usually just use the washi tape to mark off the edge of this so no hair, dog hair or dust gets stuck to the side where the glue hangs over. Sometimes I section off squares or sometimes I use release paper. It kind of depends. So tweezers and so that was for the other kit and then this one was the one that came in. This one. Let's just do this really quick. Oh, cute. That magenta color pen again. And we've got our multi-placers. Oh, <laughs> we have an extra lid for our wax caddy there. <laughs> Alrighty, let's take a look at our washi tape. Oh, that's really pretty. Look at that. That one, I feel like coincides a little bit more with the um, cottage painting because it's a floral, blue floral. Cute. And then this is a cute little macaron cookie. Cute. Alrighty, that one's really cute. All right, so let's move this stuff out of the way off our painting. Okay, so let's get to the actual painting. Uh, it's gorgeous. <laughs> 
And this has, I believe, five ABs in it. Yeah, five. So it's going to be really pretty. Look, I love all the sparklies that make it look kind of fantasy, mystical. And it's got these, I think they're fireflies. Yeah, fireflies, right? Kind of buzzing around. It's going to be so pretty. This is another one that I do intend to frame and hang up in my house. Probably in our living room. My husband is a hunter. And he hunts all kinds of animals. And he's very, very passionate about ethical hunting. And um, he just enjoys nature and being respectful of nature and for him a lot of it is just being in nature and res and respecting nature and um i think he just likes to sit <laughs> in the quiet honestly and and i think that's time for him to kind of meditate and think and find that calmness so it's not i don't think it's even so much about the hunting part of it necessarily i mean that's part of it but and anyway, I, and so, um, he went on this big elk hunting trip, um, in Colorado recently, and he, he said it changed his life. It was amazing. He was waking up every morning in the mountains. He had these gorgeous views. He was sending me pictures all the time. Um, they saw elk every day. He said they're just absolutely gorgeous, amazing, powerful animals. And so that is what inspired me to get this picture. I'm rambling. Sorry, that was a long story. Just to say that that is what inspired <laughs> this picture. So, um, I like how colorful it is. It's not a typical um, sort of nature. It's not a realistic nature picture, right? Because it's more of a fantasy. Um, it's very colorful. So, very pretty. Okay, let's look at these diamonds. So, a lot of dark to the background, which again, I think I'm going to like actually painting this one because of like the lines. I really like that. So it's got all this dark to the background. So again, I, I won't go through like every single color. Oh, I really like that one though. Let's find the ABs and take a look at those. Look at that lime green. That is so pretty. Oh, and the peach color. I just like colors. <laughs> so, there's an AB. Beautiful yellow butter color. Oh, there's another one. Beautiful green AB. There's a white AB. Okay, let's see what are our other ones. We found the green, the white, and the yellow. So there's a blue and a purple. Oops. Oh, there it is. There's the purple. That's going to be really pretty. That's in the... Oh, sorry, no. Where is that? Oh, yes, it is. It's in the Elks coat there. All right, and there's the last AB. Oh, look at that one right next to it. Those two colors are really pretty, but there's the AB. Very pretty. So that one I think is also, yep, going to be in his coat in here. Oh, that's going to be so pretty. Okay, let me look at this last pack really quick. Just a couple more colors. So that's that. Okay, well, this one is very colorful and very glowy looking, which I'm excited about. So I'm excited to start that one. The theme of this uh, unboxing is that I'm excited. <laughs> Can you tell? <laughs> I keep saying it. So that is that for this unboxing. Thank you so much for watching. I actually will have a lot of hauls, unboxing, 
type videos coming up because I went a little crazy for the Black Friday sales. <laughs> um, I ordered from Diamond Art Club. They actually got me again with their extended Black Friday <laughs> sale. I ordered two more paintings, so those will be coming soon. I ordered some storage products from Amazon, and then I ordered a couple more things from some other diamond painting companies, and I also ordered some stuff from Etsy, so those will be coming up soon. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you. Bye.